Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a video discussing finding a career as a disabled individual. So, um, as a disabled individual, we have to come to terms with the fact that we might not be able to do certain physical jobs. For example, if you want to be um, a nurse and you're in a wheelchair and you don't have much upper body strength, you're not likely going to be efficient or adept at putting a bedpan under someone or um, helping someone out of bed or um, changing someone or changing bandages. Um, you, whereas you may be able to do things like take blood or you may be able to, um, I'm not sure, I'm not really uh, adept with, not adept, I'm not really knowledgeable about the medical fields, but I'm sure there are some things that you can do in the medical fields, and I'm sure there are a lot of things you can't do in the medical fields um, if you are limited, uh, if you have limited, bleh, what the hell, if you have limited mobility, sorry. Um, yes, so, um, <clears throat> so, yeah, so first thing to do, I guess, would be to think about what your interests are and think about which interests um, would be the starting point for a career in something. So um, when I mean what I mean by career is I mean something that uh, has benefits and um, you know has you know a good insurance policy and things like that. Uh, because as individuals in wheelchairs, we need to take into account, um, we need to take these things into account a little bit more so than your average person, considering we need, you know, medical equipment, or we need people to help us, um, and we need, uh, you know, we do have different needs than others. So, um, and along with that, um, I would suggest a city type of job or, um, Again, just like a union kind of job or something like that. Because, again, there are certain needs uh, that we have that others don't have. For example, um, I'm going to be a teacher. And, you know, as a teacher, sometimes they give you rooms where you have to, or they give you uh, classes where you have to move from one room to the next room, um, you know, like period to period. And, you know, when I do interviews, I say, you know, I'm going to need my own room, you know, because I can't be carrying a bunch of papers around the school, going from the third floor to taking the elevator to next period to the second floor with all of my paperwork and things like that. It's just not realistic for me. So, um, you know, I have the type of job where they do sort of have to accommodate me in those types of situations. So, um, because, again, because it's a, you know, city uh, job or, like, you know, a job where individ individuals with disabilities are n treated equally under the law. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, so I think a job where you're protected by the law is a good starting point as well. So if your interests coincide with those types of jobs, awesome. If your job, if your interests don't coincide with those types of jobs, then you have a bunch of other options as well. I mean, um, <clears throat> depending on what you're interested in, of course, everyone you know is different. So if you want to talk more about it, you can comment below and we can discuss it further. But um, uh, you basically just need to find your interest and have that interest be the foundation for your job search or your um, career search. And, you know, we can work. <laughs> um, we can do things that um, contribute to the world, like teach and, and um, you know, inspire people in, in different ways. Maybe not a teacher, that, that's perfectly fine, but just inspire people to see us and just see that we are just people. We just want to contribute to the world just as anyone else wants to contribute to the world. Um, yeah, so uh, again, I mean, 
finding a career when you have certain interests um, can be difficult. But, um, you know, as long as you are happy, then, you know, everything will work out. Um, you don't follow a interest that you're not really keen on, um, that doesn't, it doesn't really interest you that much. Um, definitely go for something that you really want and that you really are going to be happy once you get it. Because it's going to take a bit of time and effort to get there. So um, if you're not going to be happy when you get there and you put all that effort and work into it, you're going to be like, this was not what it was cracked up to be. Um, <laughs> you know. So I definitely pick something that you have a lot of interest in. Um, and that's always the foundation. It's always the, the, the first step. And of course, you know, you might have to get a job that you're not interested in in the meantime to, you know, keep get money or whatever the case may be. Um, you know, but as you're doing that job, definitely take steps toward the job that you want um, or the career that you want. Um, and that's if you... Again, this is only if you're interested in advice about this certain topic. A lot of people are on a kick right now about not going to college and about, um, you know, being able to just do whatever job you want and be creative. And, you know, I agree. I think that's awesome. And, you know, you just it takes a lot of effort. You know, anything that you want to do takes a lot of effort, whether you're going to go to college or not going to go to college. Both things are taking a lot of efforts. So, yeah, if you like this video, uh, definitely subscribe or give a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next one. Have a great day wherever you are. Bye-bye.